In this video, we are going to look at how to impersonate a student and um, some of the reasons why that would be a useful thing to do. So uh, first of all, this is done through the class list. So if we click on class list up in the uh, nav bar, it'll take us here. So again, we can see all of the students in our class. So let's say we wanted to impersonate a student, all right? Let's say we wanted to impersonate, ooh, I don't know, Kevin. Sure, let's impersonate Kevin. So we just click on the arrow, and then we see all these options, and then we go impersonate. So this suspends your current session and logs you in as selected user. Continue. Yes. So first thing you'll notice is that up in the top right, it says we are now impersonating Kevin Malone. And so you are seeing the course exactly as Kevin would see it. So one of the advantages is if a student is saying that they can't see an assignment or a quiz or something looks strange, you can actually impersonate them and see what they are looking at. All right, so let's say they're having trouble seeing an assignment. You can go into assignments now and see it as they see it. So this is what a student will see, right? They can't submit these assignments because it's um, they're closed, but this one they could still submit. So if even if you just wanted to see what a student sees when they submit something or what it looks like to them so you can help them do it, right? This is what it would they would see when they want to submit an assignment. You click add a file, do all that stuff, put your description, and then click, click submit. All right. A lot of times students um, will be asking about things like how do I view my progress, right? So, or I can't see my mark for this or things like that. So you could go and see um, what they see in grades, right? What does grades look like to a student, right? So they can see their um, grade items and categories and the marks they got and how everything's done here. If you click here and go progress, right? You can see how a student views their own progress, right? It's very similar to the progress one that you see Right, but just again, you can go and take a look and see um, what kind of feedback and what they see when they submit something or when um, they're, what they're seeing in the course. So you can now go and see anything. Uh, if they're saying that they can't see a certain content item, you go into content and maybe you forgot to, hide, to unhide something, maybe they can't see it. Right? These are all great reasons to be able to impersonate a student. The other thing you could do is you could submit something for a student. So let's say that student uh, Kevin did want to submit his um, Urkin sample, but he sent it to you in email. He's like, I can't figure it out. And um, you're going to help him figure out how to submit it. But right now, you just want to get it in there. You could actually submit it for him. You impersonate him, go in here, upload that file that he gave you, and submit it. So there's lots of things you can do when impersonating a student. All right, and again, it's a very useful tool to be able to see what students see. So once you're done impersonating a student, you just click on the name up here, impersonating Kevin Malone, click this X, and this will take you back to your login account, and you're not impersonating them anymore. So that is how you impersonate a student and some of the reasons why you'd want to do that.